Good evening everybody. I have another video here for you. Tonight we're going to talk about toppers. Okay. As you can see, there's a lot here to choose from. However, I want to tell you something you may or you may not agree with. It's okay, regardless, either way. These companies like Meguiar's, <clears throat> they probably spend, I'm guessing, north of a million dollars in R&D. That's research and development. And I know a lot of the naysayers are going to say, oh, they're just coming out with this chemical to make more money. Well, yes and no. Yes, they are doing it to make money, but the research and development department is going to make sure this topper goes perfectly with their polish, with their compound, with their panel wipe, with their everything. So you may want to start doing family lines. Like if you're going to do Meguiar's compound polish, wax, and topper like this new glosser they just came out with, try it. I mean, yeah, a lot of people are going to say, well, bead maker goes on everything. Yes, they do. They got lucky. They pulled it off. It works on everything. But how do you know if you're using Jeskar Polish and a Meguiar's uh, compound or topper or anything like that? How do you know you wouldn't be missing out if you kept it all in the same line? Try it. Start making some YouTube examples. We're going to use Jeskar's polish with Meguiar's topper. Then we're going to use Jeskar's polish with their wax and with their beat it just to see what happens. I am a firm believer in having the entire line, whether it be Meguiar's chemical guys, uh, Jeskar, Adams, whatever. I like keeping it all in the family. Uh, you got a favorite topper? Great. What is it? And tell me what you put it on top of.